Hello, and welcome to another Ingvid video. Today is a conversational class. We're looking at how the British say no. Now, how could today's lesson be useful to you? Well, it's a cultural difference how we accept or refuse invitations, and getting it right is quite important to making sure you don't upset someone when they do put an invitation out there to you. The situation which we find ourselves in is the following. A friend of ours has asked me to go for a power walking weekend in Skegness, which is not one of the nicest parts of England. Apologies if you are from Skegness, of course. Now, power walking, it's, um, I'm more into sort of windsurfing or surfing or sailing something in the water, but you know, two poles striding up a, a mountain is a little bit, um, I'm not quite ready for that. I'm a little bit too juvenile. Um, so how do I politely decline this fantastic invitation? I could say, well, thank you so much. That's such a kind invitation, but, okay. So we can preface this with, thank you so much. That is such a kind invitation, but I'm not particularly keen on. I'm not particularly keen on. What it actually means is I hate power walking, but we're gonna say I'm not particularly keen, okay? Keen means enthusiastic, okay? I'm not particularly keen on power walking or Skegness. Um, that's such a wonderfully kind invitation, but it's not really my idea of um, how I'd like to spend a weekend. This is quite rude. This is quite, ooh, okay, steady on. It's not really my idea of how, so, you know, if you know the person really well and you've got that level of honesty in your friendship, then try this. If you don't know the person so well, maybe try this one instead. I'm so sorry, but it's just not my idea of, or you could use instead of my idea of, it's just not my cup of tea, because we all like to have a cup of uh, tea here in the UK. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay, this so really gives the impression that we really care. I'm so sorry, but it's just not my idea of, or it's just not my cup of tea. I don't really like these activities. Well, thank you so much. I'd actually much rather, or I'd actually much rather, so actually doesn't really mean anything here. It's just, it's a filler word that helps us seem polite. I'd actually much rather do anything else apart from that. I'd much rather, okay, so this is a little bit like the second one there. If you know the person reasonably well and you've got that level of honesty in, in your friendship, I'd actually much rather be cracking on with something else. Cracking on, funny English phrase meaning doing, getting on with, cracking on. I'd actually much rather be, um, it's quite a posh phrase, be cracking on with. I'd much rather be cracking on with. Okay, next option. I'm afraid I'm not really interested in. Okay, quite similar to some of these others in, these other options. I'm afraid I'm not available then. I'm afraid I just can't do it on those dates would be another way if you, if you don't want to offend them by saying that you don't like power walking. You'll notice uh, some red followed by the blue, obviously the colors of the Union Jack, feeling patriotic today and uh, enthusiastic about our strange ways of talking. Option number six, that's fantastic, but I'm perfectly happy with. So let's have a different scenario now. Um, let's say that we are in the West End and we're going between places and a, uh, an enthusiastic young rickshaw driver, a cycle rickshaw comes up and offers us a lift for a ridiculous amount of money to go about a hundred yards. Um, so you say, that's fantastic, but I'm perfectly happy with walking. Thank you. I'm perfectly happy with walking. I'm perfectly happy to walk. So you could have a to there, infinitive verb. That's fantastic, or that's so kind. 
Next way of saying no. I'll, short for I will, I'll have to think about that. Thank you so much for asking. The rickshaw driver comes up. I'll have to think about that. Um, quite why, it, it's just something we say. We're not actually gonna think about it. We already know that the answer is no. We're not gonna go in the rickshaw. I'll have to think about it. Thank you so much for asking. Or if you want to press pause and give yourself time to think, you could say, I'll have to check with the management. The management here is, if you're a guy, it's your partner, okay? So this is the wife or girlfriend. It's a way of saying, I don't really want to make a decision, I'm gonna to talk to her. I'll have to check with the management, okay? Um, so we've agreed to sort of say no. Uh, we're not gonna get us into, this one is, is probably better for the, um, uh, Skegness power walking weekend. Um, we're not going to go power walking in Skegness. Um, and the other person says, oh, but we must have a weekend on the Lake District. So we say, yes, yes, we must do that. Um, it's all words, okay? We're, we're not actually saying we've, we're definitely doing this. So we say, yes, we, we must do that. We must make a plan. We must put something in the diary. Um, back to Cycle Rickshaw Guy. I think I'll leave it, thank you. Okay, so this heavy punctuation here, these two full stops make it, it quite final, okay? No thank you, uh, I'm going off and doing something else. Before you go off and do something else, I'd like you to have a go at today's quiz to test your knowledge on these phrases for saying no politely in a British manner. Do you think you can give it a go? Can you get 10 out of 10? Well, let's see. Until next time, Stay well, stay healthy, and remember to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Bye.